how is it going everyone, Daxels here, and today, oh, get strapped in for a long ass video, we're reacting to the Russian Badger, Unstoppable Moron Makes a Nuclear Wasteland noticeable, Noticeably Worse, Fallout New Vegas. Let's get straight into it. It's that time again a day when I do that shameless plug of make sure you check out my Twitch channel. It will be in the description and on Twitch. Daxel's on Twitch. Come, come check out. Come, come join us. Come have fun. Let's get into the reaction. And away we go. Troll in the Mojave almost makes you wish for a nuclear winner. Spoiler Damn warning. Straight, New Vegas has an incredible story and it's a shame to ruin it with spoilers. So consider this a fair warning. Okay. Welcome to New Vegas, a wonderful place it. that makes you- Fuck the NCO! <laughs> okay. <clears throat> Welcome to New Vegas, okay. a wonderful <laughs> place that makes you say, That's Vegas, baby! Have you ever seen a man use nuclear weapons in close quarters combat? That's Vegas, baby. You ever murdered somebody just so you could take a one hour nap in their filthy cock? That's Vegas, baby. You ever seen someone <laughs> covered in pitch, set on fire, and tossed into the Grand Canyon only to somehow crawl out and survive? We can't expect God to do all the work. Jesus fucking Christ. Jeez. That's Vegas, baby. But enough <laughs> of the empty chatter. How about we start getting somewhere? The time for talk has passed. The Lord's oh, work must be like done. Fall New Vegas is the story of a courier delivering a mysterious package to the New Vegas Strip that's robbed by a charismatic gangster and left to die in the Mojave Wasteland. Truth is... Okay. The game was rigged from the start. Oh, I've had that somewhere else before. Fortunately, a man by the name of Doc Mitchell digs the lead out of your brain, picks up the pieces, and puts you back together like Humpty Dumpty, introducing you to hey. character creation. I hope you don't mind, Doc from but I had to go rooting around there in your noggin to pull all the bits of lead out. Special stats Jeez. come first in the form of strength, perception, endurance, charisma, intelligence, agility, and luck, okay. each making you good or bad at certain things on a scale from 1 to 10. You got 10 agility? That makes you the deadliest gunslinger oh, this side of the Mississippi. <laughs> You got one okay. charisma? Well, negotiating with you has got to be the most awkward and infuriating interaction two human beings can have. Just give me, me some goddamn medics and fuck off, will you? Because I'm a bumbling moron and play video games like a fucking ape, I said Same. to hell with the balance allocation they suggest and yes. went straight up Lord Death of Murder Mountain. 10 strength, 7 what? endurance, 10 agility, and 10 luck. God, oh, what the fuck okay. is this bitch? All right, let's state the obvious. There's something wrong with me. I am Hercules' bigger cousin Strong, with tough as nails endurance walks on water agility and two-headed coin flip lucky if i so Hold much it. as breathe on an organism in the mojave you better believe it'll end in a critical hit with enough force to overthrow a small government like that's what you need i don't know do you <laughs> <laughs> However, it also it's means that I have the perception of a deaf bat, the charisma of a misanthrope, and intelligence so low that calling me dumber than a fucking brick is perfectly accurate. That was probably pretty dumb, huh? These base stats are complemented by skills, which are heavily influenced by where you put your special points. Like, remember my 10 agility? That means jacked guns and jacked sneak. Remember my one charisma that makes my speech and barter barely resemble that of a sentient human being? I'm so terrifying, yet so lacking in social skills even the most basic conversation probably feels like a hostage negotiation well Jeez. good luck with that again lord death of murder mountain which means specking guns sneak and explosives so i can exterminate any life form i come into contact with from the tiniest praying mantis to the saltiest powder gang take this you stupid fucking no doubt, bug. No doubt. <laughs> powder <laughs> gangers <laughs> rule <laughs> Special points and skill points are rounded out by traits, which I just adore. Because on one hand, you can pick something pragmatic like Built to Destroy, which gives you a higher critical hit chance, but your weapons wear out faster. Bang, bang, Had enough. Okay. bang, bang. His arms Why fell off, but on, on the other, you can pick some shit like my favorite, Wild Wasteland, which enables bizarre events to occur, like taking some dicey drugs and fighting a fucking Yaogwai that's on fire. Have at it, you stupid son of a bitch. Take drugs, what? kill a bear. What? Uh, Take drugs, what? kill a bear? What? There's an actual flaming Yaogwai? What the fuck? Am I even hitting the right one? What is going on? <laughs> yeah, that was the right one. <laughs> Once you're done choosing who you want to be and enter the Mojave, that is the next big one you gotta learn. Because 90% of staying alive in the wasteland is making sure everything else around you is dead. <laughs> The Vault Tech Makes Assisted sense. Targeting System, or VATS, is the tightest shit ever. I fucking love VATS because it allows you to freeze time Dio style and choose exactly where you want to shoot and the probability of hitting your target. Watch this center mass. Yep, yep, yep. <laughs> it's not mandatory. You don't have to use it. You can just blast things away like you would in any other shooter. True, true. 
taunt me, Gecko. Personally, I use it every chance I get. Just the combination of precise shots, the slow motion, and some of the hilarious outcomes, I just can't help myself. Oh, oh shit, that hurts. You can select multiple targets. You can be choosy about body parts, like hitting someone's right arm to knock the weapon out of their hand or someone's oh, legs so they can't flee, especially if that person just won the lottery. Who won the lottery? I did! I feel bad about using the 40 mil for this. Oh, my it's on their leg. That was tight as hell. It's Take not perfect back. because even if you're extremely just close a to a target with near perfect accuracy, sometimes you can accidentally vibe check the wrong person. <laughs> Whoa, no, no, not shooting Kachino. Thank you very much. <laughs> yes, we are shooting Kachino. <laughs> <laughs> oh, no. And other times, Vats oh, is just man. too accurate. I never thought it was possible to be too consistent, but a snafu with dynamite proved me very wrong. Rise and shine, Captain Parker. Oh, shit. That's okay. <laughs> <laughs> I didn't bounce. Oh, oh shit! How Every many times? Now. I'm not gonna. I oh my God. Three <laughs> times. Dude. I'm so dead. Oh God. I need even though I may have blown my legs off with dynamite, my heart was in the right place because what I was fighting for was totally worth it. A bed. Just like vats, beds are absolutely critical to your survival because the wasteland okay. is full of scary shit that takes your health away and breaks down your limbs, especially if you use <laughs> landmines as a primary weapon. Hey, wake up, Frank. Oh my Wake God. up, Frank. <laughs> but if you sleep in a bed, even for just an hour, you regain all of your health and all of your broken limbs are magically fixed. Don't ask me how it works. I don't know about you guys, but hey. I think that's worth cutting someone's head off with a switchblade. Ring-a-ding-ding, yeah. -ding, baby. That makes sense. Ooh, that critical. Final word of advice here is to always check if there's an open bed before you kill anybody. Because I've slaughtered entire tents of people and taken naps next to corpses only to realize there was an open bed right oh, next to them. I just no. want to take a nap. Let me take a nap, you asshole. <laughs> With those basics oh covered, it's time God. to make our way to New Vegas so we can find that bastard Benny and figure out why some stupid platinum chip was worth blowing someone's head off. Now's a good time to remind okay. you that I'm a complete fucking oaf. I'm glossing over a ton <laughs> of stuff and probably leaving some important shit out. So That's remember fine. that my advice is meaningless and time is a flat circle. There's more to it, but we don't yes. have the time. By which I mean... You don't. On the road to New Vegas, I okay. prefer to trust absolutely no one because the wasteland is Best never as it be. seems. See that nice old lady running the motel with the giant hey, dinosaur? Rex. Well, she just sold someone's wife into slavery. Wow, Jeannie Mae, you negotiated the sale of a person and only got a what? thousand caps? Killing everyone that doesn't explicitly offer value to you is a wonderful policy because as far as I'm concerned, this wasteland belongs to me and the weak should fear the strong. It's a part oh of life out here. God. Best to accept it. Upside here, Jesus. looting is a dream because robbing a corpse is a far smoother experience than bartering with a living being, and who knows? You might just get lucky and find a mysterious big iron that has sound effects. Oh, yeah. Yeehaw, chuckle fucks. <laughs> Downside here, everyone that you haven't killed yet hates your guts. Oh man, do people ever think you're an abomination? So interacting with the various tribes of the Mojave is significantly more painful. The NCR has declared you a terrorist. Wherever the NCR has jurisdiction, <laughs> you'll be shot on sight. Oh, it's about there. fucking time, fellas. I'll get oh, to these there. various tribes in due time. All I'm saying is, you have choices. Be good, be evil, kill nobody, kill everybody. I don't give a shit, make up your own destiny. Hear that? That's sick. We have options. My destiny was to confront Benny at the Topps Casino on the New Vegas Strip and figure out why the hell that platinum chip was so goddamn important. But just before I That's did, fair. I was reminded of why my seemingly dumbass build is so damn brilliant thanks to maxing out Sneak. You see, none of these casinos on the Strip want a bumbling wastelander walking into the joint with all kinds of dangerous weapons, so they make you check them at the door to avoid any violence. But if your Sneak stat is high, you can fit an arsenal in the door, no problem. I can get weapons wow. past the guards, no problem. You might. Right? One fella I knew was able to slip a pistol past the guards. You? I'm guessing you could get a machine gun by them. Hey, hey, so welcome to the Topps Hotel and Casino. I'm gonna have to Why ask you to hand her? over any weapons you might be carrying. <laughs>
Sure, here you go. Smooth and easy, just the way I like it. Okay, so they didn't find two 357s, a 44 Magnum, two 10 millimeter like pistols, said, three 9 millimeter pistols, it, a combat knife, eight six of dynamite, a frag grenade, three more six of dynamite, a mysterious Magnum, a silence 22, spike knuckles, a switchblade, and a tire iron. Sneak is broken. I'm gonna repair all this, by the way. Don't have an aneurysm. This allows you to kill Benny any way you like. I was surprised he didn't perish from a heart attack the moment he laid eyes on me still breathing. What? In the goddamn blow his guards up with a frag grenade and finish him off with dynamite hell you can even let him flee for the time being and kill him later over and over again when his hands are tied thanks to the joy of quick saving now you're talking oh. that is the ring-a-ding move baby yeah you better believe that benny starts sweating when you hit the f5 key <laughs> the truth is the game was raped from the start. <laughs> I'm gonna hit him a few more times, just so he doesn't come back like I did. Did I really just march halfway across the Mojave to kill Benny with a tire iron? You're damn right. A fair kill. With a tire iron? Oh, can you actually crucify him? You sick, vindictive fuck. Happy now, you twisted bum? I still feel like Tire Iron is the best. It is oh always the best. Sword. And if you think killing Benny is the climax of your new Vegas crusade, ooh baby, are you ever ring-a-ding wrong. I'm not talking about Maria, the pistol that he shot you in the face with that you get to use however you ooh. like. Truth is, Remy, the game was rigged. <laughs> I'm not talking about his ace checkered suit that I primarily use to get discounts at gun runners. This robot is giving me a 2% discount just because I'm wearing a checkered suit. I'm talking about that mysterious platinum ship that cracks the entire story wide open. And I'm sure you're just itching to know why. What the fuck do you think, asshole? Apparently, the man after this platinum chip you were carrying when Benny blew your head off is Mr. House, the mastermind running the New Vegas Strip. And why am I still talking about him when his okay. ego does such a better job? By the time I was 30 years old, I was a billionaire 30 times over. I founded and ran a vast economic empire. Do you really think I'm going to let an upstart come into my home wow. and ransom hey. my property to me? Oh, he's I dead. I spent two centuries searching this for guy. the platinum chip. He's it's dead. my invention, my property, mine. Now be a good courier and deliver it. And he's angry for a reason, because his position of power he's comes angry. from his Securitron. You know those big blue robot guys that can either kill you on sight or become your cowboy best friend? Howdy, partner! Welcome to New Vegas! <laughs> well, that platinum ship you're carrying contains an update to their operating system that turns them from ordinary foot soldiers capable of small arms fire into missile-blasting, grenade-launching behemoths ready to vaporize any adversary in the okay. dust. Behold, for the first time, Securitron's running the Mark II OS. The M235 missile launcher gives the secure target ability to gain ground and air targets oh, does it kill at much? significantly longer range. And a rapid fire G28 grenade launcher ensures the Securitron is deadly in close range engagements. Yeah. Benny basically blew your head off because the giant Securitron army is currently running Windows XP and you were carrying a licensed oh, version of Windows, Windows 10. 10. That's not even the juiciest part. Oh, Benny no. modified his own Securitron, appropriately named Yes Man, to help him steal the platinum chip, overthrow Mr. House, commandeer his Securitron army, and shoot him out of the New Vegas Strip. Though I think Benny would put it differently. Baby, getting outplayed and getting cheated ain't the same thing. Yes Man <laughs> is willing to tell you all of this because he is unable to say no. And I know this word doesn't mean anything anymore but he is literally a yes man but hey not my fault i can't say no i love this guy because he politely lays out your options for shaping the future of vegas and forces you to finally decide whose side you're on leading up to the final showdown for all the mojave marbles at hoover dam we shall see how brave you are when nailed to the walls of hoover dam your body facing west so you may watch your world die. On one wow. side, you've got the New California Jeez. Republic, or NCR, representing old world values like democracy, taxes, and the rule of law, but I'ma keep it a buck. Fuck the NCR. <laughs> oh my god, the NCR is unbearable, pun intended. Because even as the good guys, they make it impossible to like them without condescending and pedantic they are, especially when it comes to violence. This is NCR property, and we have guns. So you can only do as we please here, and it would please us if you got the hell off our lawn. I honestly can't wait Kill to her. sell you into slavery. I'm oh not even kidding. They are God. such chicken shit cowards. Like, they are so terrified okay, of the Legion dude. crushing them at Hoover Dam. Half of them are contemplating suicide. The Legion breaks through our defenses. I got one bullet I'm saving just for me. Jesus. If the Legion breaks through our defenses, 
I got one bullet I'm saving just for me. Jeez. If the breaks okay, defenses, and they got the same got line over and over. Okay, I get it. You want to kill yourself. <laughs> Shut the fuck up. They're dumber than I am. And as a reminder, I have sub-brick <laughs> intelligence. Like, who should we put in charge of a vital solar power plant? How about some bum off the street named Fantastic with no experience whatsoever? That scientist we hired has got to be the dumbest asshole I've ever come across. They asked me how well I understood theoretical physics. I said I had a theoretical degree in physics. They said, welcome aboard. Got the whole NCR wow. suckling my teeth. Okay. And it feels so good. The Legion, on the other hand, absolutely based. And the shootouts you witness between these two rival factions tells you everything you need to know. God damn, the go. Legion ever crushed the NCR. They just... Get so. <laughs> <laughs> How many like but wait, don't they propagate <laughs> slavery take. and crucify anyone that defies their will? Degenerates like you belong on a cross. Degenerates like you belong on a cross. Oh my god, Degenerates don't be like you belong on a cross. <laughs> Degenerates like you belong on a cross. Yes. But if there's Jesus one thing Christ. that I hate more than slavery, it's taxes. The worst kind of slavery. True. So when I say Awe, you say... True to Kaisar. As evil as they may be, at least they're not pretending like the NCR is. Talking mad shit for having no real fighting prowess, and Kaisar's right-hand man Lanius can tell you what happens when words aren't backed by strength. Our roads into creepy. NCR are hung with the bodies of those who attempted to negotiate with us. That's the kind of acting on verba ethos I can get behind. Sure, the bleed might be a little intense, but at least they treat me like an equal and have conviction <laughs> in what they're pursuing. We will take Hoover Dam and move forward until our feet crush the setting sun beneath them. The good of the NCR or the bad of the Legion aren't your only choices either, because Mr. House is always an option, a very corporate tyrannical uh, option wait, to hand the option? keys to the Mojave, but I guess when your other choices are cowards or slavers, it's not so bad. My army will do what an army does best, defend territory from invaders, and maintain order. But if you want a wild card option, mm -hmm. pick up where Benny left off and side with Yes Man. He'll help you take the keys in the Mojave by stealing the Securitrons for yourself. An army like that should be enough to defend yeah, I'm Vegas the best from, option. I'm gonna say, anybody. That way, yep. you get to murder the belittling Mr. House and conquer the wasteland with a friendly face. And before yes. you say, You can't just kill Mr. House because a robot told you to. Observe. Oh, Wait, that's Mr. Lose House. Karma for that? He was already a vegetable. I'm just making a mashed potato. No matter which okay, path you take, dude. you're forced to familiarize yourself with the smaller tribes of the Mojave to determine whether you want their help in the Battle of Hoover Dam or exterminated for their lack in cooperation. If you like a tribe, leave it alone. Or if a tribe is nasty or going to be a problem, go ahead and exterminate it. It's whatever you want to do. You've got the appropriately Jeez. named boomers because they're terrified of anything the foreign boomers. to them, labeling outsiders as savages, and you gotta make it through an artillery barrage if you even want to talk to them. They must be a really nasty people. I haven't heard a single good thing about them. Can I just say, this is by far the most accurate artillery barrage that I've ever seen. Like, this is not the way that artillery works, dog. How the hell did you survive that bombardment? I didn't run through all that artillery to hear your stupid question. <laughs> they were savages with knives. Good answer. We blew them up with frag mines and grenades. Burned them with flamethrowers. Okay, we get it. Jesus it was Christ. Neat. Yes, it was young Pete. <laughs> Neat. Sure, they're intolerant, but they taught me this field trip to meet other tribes wasn't just so I could check a box of exterminate or don't exterminate, because if you help them out, they can have a big impact at Hoover Dam. So fine, Ooh. boomers, I'll fix your stupid plane and make your dreams come true. To restore okay, the boomer. bomber, to fly the open skies in armored safety. Running high explosive ordnance upon ignorant savages. Okay. Can you dial dude. it back on that word? Yeah. Anytime he says savages, he just goes, savages. <laughs> the great cons are hilarious because everybody makes fun of them for being filthy drug traffickers the that great. live in tents. The cons are just. They're a dirty people. They live in tents like animals, and they're very rude. And I think you rude. can deal with them diplomatically to win their favor, but uh, I've never oh, tried that option. Speech. He's got no speed. 20%, can I hit that? Oh, I can hit that. You know what's even better than killing drug traffickers? Killing drug traffickers on their own product. I'm so high off a of psycho right now. Diplomatic Jeez. efforts are better spent on the Brotherhood of Steel, because if you run their silly errands, they can hook you up with special power armor training to wear this god-tier steel suit. Hold it.
Everybody looking for that platinum chip when I got that platinum drip. By the way, if you think that T-51 is cooler than T-45, you are actually psychotic. And I'm not gonna recommend that you pickpocket the heavy hitters and initiate their bunker self-destruct sequence once you've got the training in your hands. Boy. Boy. Yoink. Uh, yoink. I'll take that? Are you sure you would like to initiate the oh self Oh, yes. That's actually You can kill head. me all you want. I've already won. I've already won. It's already too late. I bet you regret putting that explosive collar on me now, assholes. Good. That's one less loose end. Consider them Jesus. forgotten. Along with the projections that predict they'll be our biggest enemy. He's gonna be the last one left. Not all the tribes are out in Bumblefuck either. You've also gotta make contact with some of the families running other prominent casinos on the strip, so even if you already know you want them exterminated, you at least have to look them in the face before you kill them, Benny style. Maybe cons kill people without looking them in the face. But I ain't a fink. Dig. The Omertas that run a giant whorehouse called Gamora deserve to be wiped off the face of the earth. Huh. Not just because they kill hookers, not because they're oh, okay. stockpiling arms, but because oh, they're complete okay. pieces of shit, and it takes like three pickpockets to dismantle their whole operation. Oh, what my the God. fuck Secret are you looking virus. at? What the fuck are you looking at? What the fuck are you looking at? I hear oh, you've been asking God. questions about me, dickweed. What oh, the fuck my. do you want? I don't give half a dick what you heard. Yeah, get the they, fuck they out of my die. face before I burn your sorry ass. And Jeez. I will take that off your hands. Where the fuck did you get that? Okay, listen, buddy. That's some dangerous shit you got there. That book can get me killed if the wrong people see it. Let's talk. What do you want? And just like that, wow. all your guns are gone. And as much as I'd love to tell you that I had an <laughs> elaborate way of destroying Kachino and his cronies, you already saw how that ended. I guess we oh, are okay. shooting Kachino. <laughs> <laughs> oh, no. The White Glove Society at the Ultra Lux are by far the worst liars I have ever come across. When people proactively scream at you, we're not cannibals, we swear, you better believe they, they eat people. For the yeah. last time, the White Glove Society has never and will never consume human flesh for any reason. Yeah, you know, once I end up reviewing this footage, I feel like I can tell you exactly what she meant by there saying those words. The White Glove <laughs> Society will consume human flesh for any reason. We do not engage in cannibalism here under any circumstances. <laughs> oh no, this is another one that's just too perfect to pass up. We engage in cannibalism here under any circumstances. It gets even oh better once God. you press them on it. Like, why do so many people disappear while staying at your hotel and they're oh, like what man, no. we hired a private investigator to solve that mystery go ask him about it and he's dead in his room i had our major d mortimer <laughs> offer him a complimentary room for as long as it took for him to be satisfied oh really Yo, holy shit, he did! And the White Glove Society sends a bunch of dudes in tuxedos to fight a man in power arms. Yeah, Great idea. Their that's latest dumb. victim is the son of this rancher named Heck Gunderson, and he is definitely worth rescuing in the basement. Not only because of the conversation you get to have with the chef. Who the fuck do you think I am? I'm the fucking god of New Vegas Brahmin Go fusion Ramsey. cuisine, that's who. No, no, that doesn't even give me the credit I deserve. I fucking invented edible food. Do you like Jesus. eating? Good. You owe me your entire goddamn garbage existence. Jesus. Keep talking shit, Philippe. <laughs> Not only because you get to feel the <laughs> adrenaline rush of fighting 15 cannibals at once. No, run away, kid! Run away! Oh, I got the kid. Yo, Not only strike. because you can punch Marjorie's stupid head off and even the Mater D if you feel so inclined. What the fuck? Wait, you missed. Okay. How does she have such a strong head? <laughs> oh, shit. Degenerates like you belong on oh, okay. <laughs> But because once you do get him back to his dad, he shoots up the whole casino in a fit of rage and cuts off the entire food supply to the oh, New Vegas Strip. My oh, God. shit. You like that? Let's go. Ooh. Get him, him. Well, that does it. None of them maniacs will ever do business with Hank Gunderson long as they live. They Good control the Gunderson. food, but well, there ain't gonna be no food. Not for anybody in this whole damn town. Let him God stop. Damn. Biggest favor anyone's ever done this hellhole. That sounds like a fantastic <laughs> idea. Hell, Good there are job, even partner. tinier tribes that aren't mandatory to meet with, but worth exterminating anyway. So I'm looking at you, fiends. What the fuck are you doing here? You've got some kind of fucking death wish, asshole? Final warning, asshole. All right, asshole. You just fucked yourself. <laughs> the only annoying part about the fiends are their traps, which they end up triggering themselves most of the time. Hey. Huh? Did he just trigger his own trap? When I 
Oh, you f- Oh, dude. Oh, God. Oh, God. She that definitely sucks. tripped it. She definitely <laughs> It's even worse that these traps defy the laws of time and space. Like, one time I triggered a trap, and a second before it exploded, I escaped outside and thought I was safe. Little did I know that the timeline inside this building freezes <laughs> once you leave it, so no matter how long I spent outside, that grenade was still one second away from exploding on the inside. On top of that, New Vegas saves anytime you enter a building, so oh, I was now auto-saved right no. inside that building with a grenade about to explode, which eventually formed an infinite locked. loop of dying to a grenade, oh. loading the autosave, and dying to that same grenade. No. And over and over and over again for all of eternity. Going back inside? All good? All good. Oh, oh, oh. God. <laughs> oh, shit. What happens oh, when I load, a, though? That's Wait, a hard what lock. happens when that's I load? Like soft. <laughs> the same shit's gonna happen forever now. Oh, no. Because it auto loads. It's gonna auto save. save from the doorway. <laughs> Fuck, man. It's gonna go that's, on forever. That's not bad. Speaking of explosions, I don't hate the powder gangers, but for some reason they hate me. Like, their alliance on dynamite, I really admire. Why can't we be friends? I'm pretty sure all Can three of them threw dynamite at me. <laughs> <laughs> they did. Okay, so we got a dead caravanner, we got a dead powder ganger, and what's he gonna say? Damn, running low on smokes again. Damn. That's the most powder ganger answer I've ever heard. The only group I didn't bulldoze on site were the kings, because oh, you can't so cool. do that to the king. And if you don't know who the king is, well, you should take a trip to Memphis and find out. Who's the king? You believe this asshole man? Thank you. Thank you very much. Oh, no matter how you choose this. to handle the tribes or who you choose to back in the Battle of Hoover Dam, the <laughs> okay. presidential assassination quest will always be funny. Because if you're back in the NCR, Mr. House, or Yes Man, you've got to prevent it from happening. Hey, uh, God, that, that fucking scared me, dude. <laughs> but, oh. uh, did that ranger just get blasted off that tower? <laughs> um, um, I have a quick save. I just want to see if he's going to take his head off. Oh. Oh, oh, fuck. He got Oswald. Yeah. <laughs> Those rangers don't give a shit. They're just standing there. Look at them. Um, um, um. You're not going to get away with it this time, you sneaky piece of shit. Oh, oh wait, what? He hit his leg. How'd his head come off? What? What? <laughs> what? <laughs> Mr. President. <laughs> Mr. President, get down. What the fuck? I think his legs got stuck in the tower and his torso just didn't want to be there. What is this? Uh, should I? Should I call this in or just let it roam free? Oh, I actually Jesus. don't know if he's any, any much of a threat any longer. I think that was it. Just one guy. He's on the vertebrae. Okay. Oh, you son of a what? bitch! The game was rigged from the start. <laughs> this dude is so strong, he powers through save games. Like, I just quick save, oh, get no. quick loaded, and he's still here. It was around this That's time that disgusting. I realized siding with the Legion is so much more fun, and sticking it to the dumbass NCR is just icing on the cake. Like, if I bring a missile launcher to a presidential speech and you don't find it suspicious, you deserve to have your president vaporized. Do they yeah, care? Don't even care that yeah. I'm whipping out a missile launcher nah. right in front of the president. God damn. You dispatched President Kimball with real skill. Ah, uh, yes. Um, real skill. Um, <laughs> missile launcher from point blank range. The sole fact that Kaisar is suffering from a brain tumor and is prone to random fits of headache induced rage makes his cause worth backing. You'll be talking about a quest and then out of nowhere. God! Damn it! I expect that if it works, it works. Can be used you know? to manipulate them. <laughs> Go to. Oh, oh, God damn it! Fuck this! I'm going to lie down. If you interfere with me getting some sleep again, I'm going to have you killed. <laughs> we will talk later. Ah, way true to Kaiser. <laughs> it's not a full strength chapter, mind you. The profligates. Yes. Um. Ugh. The profligates. What is happening? <laughs> 
<laughs> okay? Because the game ends once the Battle of Hoover Dam is over, it's a solid idea to explore all the Wasteland has to offer before you finish the fight. Talk shit to the NCR hit squads that force you to improve your standing with the Republic or suffer the consequences. Oh, no. Since you haven't pissed yourself, I'll assume that you don't know who we are. Next time, I'll bring my sickle and wear my black cloak. The NCR sends us when they want terrible things done to terrible people. You've got oh, three days dead. to improve your reputation with the NCR I give or we come minutes, for you without all this pleasant conversation. Yeah, sure. You got it. I'll stop working for Kaiser. <laughs> Man, you're really scary running in the other direction. The DLC is worth checking out, and even though I only played Honest Hearts to avoid making this video two hours long, boy was it ever worth it. Ooh. Ah, damn it. Ambush. Ambush? Can I even can I prevent this? I don't oh, oh my shit. God. I don't think I can stop this. Yeah, I don't think I can stop this. I think it's designed to happen this way. Yeah, you just gotta pro Or I'm just hitting 20 somehow. <laughs> I don't know how I hit on 20. What the fuck? Oh yeah, they're all dead. Forget it. Forget it. Fuck. That's a cool one. I'd highly recommend the Sneering Imperialist trait if you head to Zion, which grants you a 15% damage buff and a bonus hit in VATS against Raiders, Junkies, and Tribals. It's basically right. weaponized racism, or at the very least, a racism buff. And what I'm not racist, but I do appreciate doing 15% extra damage and having a bonus hit in VATS. What is that damage? Auslander Zuka, Joshua Graham. If you're too dumb to speak my language, you're too dumb to talk to me. Get oh lost. Oh my. Shice. Speaking of Joshua God. Graham, that's Kaisar's former right hand man that lost the first battle of Hoover Dam, which ended in him getting covered in pitch, set on fire, and tossed into the Grand Canyon. I what? survived because the fire inside. Oh, that's this guy, the mummy guy. The fire okay. around me. I fell down into that dark chasm. The flame burned on and on. Damn, his crispy ass is the best character in all of New yeah, Vegas, and airing out an entire voice. canyon with his pistol pack and 45 buff is some Damn. of the most fun I've ever had. The time for talk has passed. The Lord's work must be done. Make no mistake about why this we are here. Side. This is an extermination. While Joshua Graham is in your party, any 45 caliber auto pistol you use has less spread and is twice as likely to score critical Hell hits. Oh yeah, brother. <laughs> We warned you at Syracuse. <laughs> Kunaman, mad. He killed all white legs. You talk. You stop. Whatever. Josh will put a cap in General Gobbledygook <laughs> here. <laughs> And once I found my way out of Zion, it was time for the final Definitely. phase of the plan. You already know what the fuck about to happen. Vegas will fall. The fight for Hoover Dam is radically different depending on which side you're on. Like, you can crush the NCR with something as simple as a hunting shotgun or a Garand. I can already tell wow. this is easier. So much easier wow. than taking on the league. Well, oh, you shut your apart from that little bit of friendly fire. This honestly feels like a different difficulty. Like these rangers fucking suck. Oh, Did man. I like drop down to very easy? What is this? Oh, I'm sorry, man. ranger, but it's it's a wrap for you. <laughs> I'm gonna keep it a stack, trooper. It's not safe for you right now. Jesus. That's right. Fuck you and your fake so power. Like that shit is whack. Talk? It doesn't block anything. Like, what's the point? What's the point? Going up against the Legion is go. a whole different ball game. Dude, that shit is tricky. Here. I mean, not that tricky because if you slam enough Medex, Jet, and Psycho while flat out abusing the anti material rifle, nothing in this game is that tricky. Rip the oh, homie. Okay. Y'all ever get so high on a drug that your bullets start doing more damage? I just love that. Best feature of this game. <laughs> Jesus. But still, fighting alongside the Legion is so much more fun and so much more vindicating once you get to wipe that condescending smirk off General Oliver's face. I would sooner spit on the grave of my dead mother than let some courier walk the wasteland fuck talk to me like that. Courier walk the wasteland fuck? Would you like to rephrase? I think you're cast out enough to know my chances are pretty good. Chances are pretty good. Wow. He vaporized four rangers. Yeah, oh, this should screwed. be good. Shut the fuck up. The highlight for me, beyond <laughs> boomers dropping high explosive ordnance upon ignorant savages. 
That's what I stand corrected. Boring. That little kid Pete talking about raining high explosive ordnance upon ignorant savages, I kind of get it now. Was the appearance of the mysterious stranger Jeez. and misfortune. Basically, there's these two traits where there's a random chance that a man or woman will show up in vats and blast away Whoa. the enemy you're engaging, and nothing against the mysterious stranger, but misfortune cannot be tied. And crippling someone will always be fun. It will never go. Oh, well, I guess misfortune is just going to steal the show. <laughs> Frag rounds. I'm missing. I'm missing all of those. Oh, misfortune. <laughs> it goes so no. far when she hits them. Don't you run away from me. Where is he even going? The closet? <laughs> what? Um, wow. Okay. It seems like a weird place to... Oh, mysterious stranger, yeehaw, chuckle fuck. In a closet of all places. In the fucking closet. I still feel like the 40 mil kind of sucks, but I guess it's worth trying out every now and again. Oh, misfortune, that's tight. That camera angle, dude. What? Where did that dude's fucking body go? He ascended. There she is again. And holy shit. She is so much better than Mysterious Stranger, it's not even <laughs> funny. She's like a walking artillery piece. Come yeah. on out, Oliver. Credit missile. Oh, that's unfortunate. Oh, <laughs> that's so unfortunate. That's Sneak attack so criticals good. are by far the best thing in this game. Like, they just do so much fucking damage. Oh, ah, dude, look at this clown. Fuck the so SCR. Like I don't know if the big boomer penetrates. Oh, never mind. Miss Force is just gonna do the wow. worst for me. Okay. So it doesn't penetrate, but it still has a lot of damage. <laughs> is that a misfortune hit on two consecutive vats? Is this shit broken? Is three in a row possible? Could they Well, never mind. Never mind. Degenerates like you belong on a cross. <laughs> oh my god. I had to. It's the last dude. It's okay. the last dude. And okay. that's the story of how we crushed the NCR and took Hoover Dam. God willing, Kaiser does the same shit to California because Lord knows it needs to happen. This <laughs> pleases me. Perhaps in time I will be granted the honor of conquering the land known as California. For now, <laughs> oh my god. Come. We must see to the burning of the dead. Don't forget to take a sip from your trusty Vault 13 canteen on the way out. You don't want to get dehydrated in the Mojave. Just sold a bunch of human <laughs> flesh to gun runners. You take a sip from your trusty Vault 13 canteen. You Hell take yeah, a brother. sip from your trusty Vault 13 canteen. <laughs> Just slaughtered an elderly couple to take a nap oh in their bed. God. Sips from canteen. God, dude, you take a sip from your trusty <laughs> Vault 13 canteen. What's <laughs> up, brotherhood? Of steel bunker take sip from trusty <laughs> you take a sip from your trusty vault 13 canteen i have been chugging out of this sink for the past 40 seconds to oh. not waste a stim pack and what am i doing while i'm chugging out of a sink i'm taking a sip from my trusty okay. vault 13 canteen and that's about it that's all i got to say a final fuck the ncr for being pedantic pieces of shit Tr Rolling the Mojave almost makes you wish for a nuclear winner. And may Kaiser rule the Mojave for all of eternity. True to Kaiser. Yes, man, <laughs> is also a solid option. But I'll stop now. It's time for this video to end. We accomplished a lot together. It was fun. Take care. Bye, yes, man. Hell yeah, brother. Sassy walk. And that's it. That's Follow New Vegas. I'd like to give a quick shout out to Cyberpunk 2077 because I originally was going to make a video on that, but then I was like, oh, this is a broken oh. fucking piece of trash. I should probably check out who did this the right way. And Fallout New Vegas is something incredible. Damn. I'm not going to hit you with any of the game critic lines, but the story is cash. The characters are cash to the point that I almost cried at some of the voice lines. Like Joshua Graham's story is so damn inspiring for a Fair fucking play. fictional character. Oh my God. Please play this game, you dumb son of a bitch. I'm gonna end it there. I really okay. am gonna cross my <laughs> fingers and hope this video was not demonetized and age restricted like the last Fallout video because I did so much fucking psycho and psycho jet that it actually thought I was, I don't know, recommending the use of hard drugs. <laughs> and before I go, if you think the death claws are scarier than Cazadors, degenerates like you belong on a cross. Oh, I'm sorry. Great video. Oh my god, dude. Great video. It didn't even feel like 37, 39 minutes, 37, 39 minutes. That's crazy good, dude. Round of applause, round of applause. <laughs>
Okay, everyone, that is the end of the video. If you enjoyed that video, make sure you check out the original in the description down below. Enjoyed this video, hit the thumbs up. Comment what you'd like me to react to next. Subscribe if you're new or just haven't yet. I will see you in the next video. Laters.